Hello guys, welcome back to Chair Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix the Division 2 is crashing, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and stuttering, low FA drop, black screen and even many more things and how we can fix this out. So let's dive into this. So first step is all about, we have to start with a simple restart. That is what we have to do as the basic step. For that just go over here in this icon on the windows, click on this icon, go for a restart. Once restart is successfully done, just try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. This is what you have to do as the first step. So this is actually not a fix, but this is actually a basic step which you can be tried out. For some users when they did this, it did work out for them and you can try this out as well. Going to the next one is all about, we have to go with verify integrity of game file. For that just click on the game over here, right click and go to the properties, local file, click on verify integrity of game file. So what happens is if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, all these kind of issues will be fixed because sometimes the files maybe get corrupted as well as it may be having any issues which is causing crashing and all these kind of issue. So it is quite important we have to try the verify integrity of game file. So just click on this one. Hence the game is around 72 GB. This is going to take a lot of time. So I'm going to skip this up. Just click on the verify integrity of game file so that process will get started. Once you're done with this, reach 100% which means you'll be getting the play button once again. So just click on the play button and try to play the game and that is going to work for you as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So launching the game from Steam might be causing the issue. So we need to launch the game from the installation folder. We have two methods. One, we have a shortcut from the Steam itself to navigate to the installation folder. Next one is all about, we have to use the file explorer from here. For that, just click on the file explorer. Now from here, go to this PC. So I just follow the instruction from here because down the road, we need to know how to navigate to the installation folder using file explorer. First, open local to C. Now keep scrolling down, navigate to program file x86. Keep scrolling down and navigate to steam folder. Now go to steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, we have to go to Destiny 2. We need to go to Destiny 2. Sorry, not as Division 2. Just open this. Now from here, we have to go to the application. So that is Division 2. This is the application. So just click on this one and launch the game. That is what we have to do. Apart from this, we have a shortcut. That is just go over here in the game. Right click on the game, go to properties, go to local file, click on the browse button, which will very easily redirect it to the same installation folder. If you check at the top, this PC, local to C, program file x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Tom Glancy's division 2. And if you scroll down, you are very easily navigating to the same installation folder. So just launch the game from here. This did work out for many users. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game and we have to run it as an administrator, which this particular step, keep in mind, this did work out for many users and you can try this out. So for that, you can just either go to File Explorer the way which I mentioned above, or you can go in this way. Let me go to this way, which is shortcut. Right click, Properties, go to Local File, click on the Browse. We are redirected to this. Now from here, we need to select the Division 2. So this is the application. Right click, Show More Options, Properties, Compatibility. Now from here, we have to go to run this program as an administrator, go for apply and go for OK and try to launch the game. Most probably when you launch the game in the uh, administration, this did work it for many users and you can try this out as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to, there is one more step which I would like to add. This did work it for few users and for many users, this didn't work as well. So you can try this out, which means we are running the game in the compatibility mode. For that, just right click over here, go to show more options, properties, compatibility. Now from here, go to run this program in compatibility mode. So change Windows 8 to first go for Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. Then see whether the issue is solved or change this one to show more options, properties, compatibility. Now change this to Windows 8, go for apply and go for OK and try to play the game. Any one of this should be worked either on Windows 7 or Windows 8. But keep in mind, for many users, when they do this, it, it ended up in having a lot of trouble. If that is the case, 
just remove this you have to undo this particular step keep run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for okay and move to the next step next step is all about we need to make sure the windows language is english so over here as you can see the language is english some of you might be playing the game in the native language like arabic german chinese etc so if that is the case we need to change it to english which is a default language go over here go to settings click on time and language now go for language and region now from here click on add language search for english now add the language over here and one software make sure the english is the correct one then you have to try launch the game parallelly make sure the country or region So this has to be the geography of your repres uh, your country. So I am from India, so I have selected India over here. I should not be selecting any other alternative country. Now just go back, go to date and time over here. Make sure the time and time zone should be correct. So over here the time should be correct and time zone should be correct as well. So make sure this both should be checked. And once after that, just close everything, go back and try to play the game once again. Moving to the next one is all about. just click on the play button i mean launch the game and press you have to press alt and tab so click on the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard this did work it for many of the users in my in my knowledge for many games like the last of us even for star wars jedi fallen order even for many other games like you know uh, dead space 2 and any other thing so you can try this out so just click on the play button and the moment you are clicking on the play button press alt and tab from the keyboard that did work it for many users as well and you can try this out moving to the next one is all about we need to delete the saved game file for that just click over here on this file explorer this pc go to documents now from here if you find the folder on the division 2 then you just need to delete the folder So once you delete, you will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it, and once after that, just close this, go back, and try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about. We need to allow the game to Windows Security. For that, we just need to go over here in the search, go for Control Panel, go to Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, go to Allow an App or Feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now from here, keep scrolling down and navigate to the Division Two. So over here in the Division. this has to be start with d so you'll be able to find the game over here so if you don't find the game you do not have to worry we can add it by default so for that we just need to uh, keep scrolling down and we have to check with t to start with t whether it might be uh, added over here Okay, the Tom Glancy's Division Two is added, so make sure this is checked and make sure the private and public should be checked. Okay, this is what we have to do. So, moreover, keep in the same mind: if it is not added, we can add it by default. For so just click on Hello, another app. Go for Add. Now just click on the Browse. Now from here, go to this PC. Go to Local Disk C, Program File x86. Keep scrolling down and move to Steam folder. Go to Steam Apps. Go to common. Now from here, go to division two. Now add this one. So here, here it is already added. So I'll be getting the error. So it's already added. If it's added, no issue. But if it's not added, you can add it by default. Just close everything. Go back and try to play the game. Moving to the next one is all about. We need to unplug all the USB devices. So you might be connected to many other USB peripherals like. you know joystick might be playing the game or else you might be connected to the logitech wheels or for any other game so if, if that is the case just remove everything from the usb port you need to remove everything from the usb port and try to play the game and that is what you have to do once so the next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot so just go over here in the search so, so go for system configuration go for services and now we have to go for disable all go for okay and it might ask you for restart if that is the case we have to go for restart and try to play the game next one is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just right click over here go to properties make sure this is disabled and if it is enabled you have to uncheck this and launch the game if that is not working we have to give the launch option so for that first give the command dx11 dx11 should be given launch the game if dx11 is not working change this to dx12 and try to launch the game and that is going to work for you as well any one of the thing might be working so just try with that 
Moving to the next one is all about. We need to close all the unnecessary tasks which is running in the background. For that, just go over here in the start, right click, and we need to go to Task Manager. Now, from here, as you can see, there are many things which is running in the background. There are 86 app approximately, or 80 or above apps which is actually running in the background, which is causing all these kind of issues. So if you scroll down, you'll be able to see the Discord, which is one of the main reason why we are having all the time the crashing issue. So if you find this, you have to end this up, which comes under the category of overlay applications. And if you find anything over here like Reward Tuner, MSC Afterburner, which comes under the category of overclocking applications, you have to remove it as well from here, which is going to fix the issue because these two overlay as well as overclocking application is one of the main reason why we are having crashing issue. Just you need to remove it from here. Now close this and go back and try to play the game. If that is not the case, we need to move to the next one that is running the game on the dedicated graphics card. For that, just go over here in the search. Now from here, we need to go to, over here, we have to go to uh, graphics settings. Now from here, if you find the game, we need to add it by default. Just click on the browse. Now from here, go to this PC, go to program file x86, keep scrolling down and navigate to Steam folder, go to Steam apps. Now from here, go to common. Now from here, go to the uh, game over here, select this one, now add it. Once you add it successfully, what you need to do is you just need to make a few changes. So you need to add the game. So once you add it successfully, you just need to do like this. You have to make a few changes. So I forgot where, the, where is the game that I added. So I'll do it once again. Go browse, division two. Once you add the game, just search for it, Division 2. Once you find the Division 2, just click on this one, go for Options, change this to High Performance, go for Save and close this and go back and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Now, once you're done with this one, just try launch the game and that is going to work for you as well. Moving to the next one is all about, we need to increase virtual memory. For that, we just need to go over here. Now from here, go to view, advanced system settings. Go for advanced, go to settings once again, go to advanced. Now from here, click on the change. Make sure the automatically managing paging file size should be selected. If you select this one, you will not be able to select the local. So uncheck this, go for custom size, give the value for initial size as well as maximum size. Initial size is 1.5 times the total RAM. We need a calculator to calculate this and maximum size is three times the total RAM. So first I need to give the value for initial size that is 32 GB is my RAM. So just multiply your RAM with a constant value that is 1024. That brings you 32,768. So you have to multiply with 1.5. That brings you 49,152. Uh, 49, so just copy this. Now we have to move to the next one that is maximum size 32 GB into 1024 that brings you this one multiply it with 3 that brings you 90,304 and you have to paste it as well once you're done with this one just go for ok and try to play the game most probably when you go for the increasing virtual memory this did work for many users and you can try this out next one we need to update the windows just go over here in the search go to settings over here with windows update make sure the windows is up to date and that is an important step which you have to try out and there is one more step which I would like to add, which is all about updating the graphics card. So I'll be providing link in the description to both NVIDIA as well as for the AMD. NVIDIA users can go to this page, select all the details like product, product series, product operating system, etc. And once you select everything, go for start search. So you'll be getting the latest outdated drivers over here. So once you find these drivers, so you'll be able to find it up. So just select every details. Now, once you're done with this, go for start search. Now, from here, you will be able to find the latest release set over here, like this 531.79, which is the latest one on May 2, 2023. So just download this one. Once after that, you just need to go back to this AMD. If you're on the AMD, just select the graphics and models, every details over here. Go for submit. Now, from here, go to Windows 11 and go for Windows 10. So Windows 11 can be downloaded from here and Windows 10 can be downloaded from here. Install both of them. So if you're on the NVIDIA, just download and install this one. If you're on the uh, 
AMD just download this one and install it on your PC and restart and try to play the game. And last and the least one, you have to try with Microsoft Visual C++. Just download this one and install this one on your PC and try to play the game. That is going to work for you as well. Even after trying all these things, the still the issue is still persisting. You need to uninstall the game and reinstall it back for that. Just right click over here, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling back, you should be installing the game back on, not on the same local disk. You should be changing the position of local disk and that is what you have to do. So these are the possible workarounds which you can be try out. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.